Hello, happy family. Welcome once again to our Barpers Recipes. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I prepare authentic Ghanaian Awe soup. Do you remember that recipe? Growing up, this is our favorite snacks that we used to enjoy it all the time. So I truly want to share this recipe with you and your friends and family. So please don't go nowhere. Take your seat and let's start cooking. All right, friends. So to get started, you need your corn meal. I got this one from a Mexican store, but I surely believe that you can get this dry corn meal from any shop near you. And next, I have here my fresh peanuts in Katimono. Yes, that's what I have right here. And I have other ingredients such as salt, nutmeg, sugar, and milk powder. Yes, this is what we have here and that is what we are going to use for this recipe. Alright friends, so let's get into this video. So first of all, I'm going to pour this um, corn meal into a very clean bowl. And remember, this is dry corn. Yes, and we are not going to add any water at all. In this recipe, you're going to use this corn as dry as it is. And as we cook it, I'm going to show you what you can do next. So I have my clean pot right here. And I'm going to be adding about 3 cups of corn meal. So depending on your family size, if you're making it for like a large family, you can add about 6 cups, okay? But depending on my family size, this is enough for me. So I just turned my stove on and we're going to start preparing this corn meal. So basically we're just gonna cook it like banku i'm just gonna keep adding water you know until i get the consistency that i want yes so please go ahead and make sure that you stir very well and this will not take long time to cook so i gradually you have to stir and make sure that you don't get any lumps in it I really enjoy this recipe. I remember growing up in Ghana. That is where I am originally from and we used to eat this a lot. That was our snacks back home. Yes, and it was so, so delicious. And I actually got this recipe from my dad. Okay, so my dad used to have this auntie and she prepared all kinds of delicious, you know, meal at home, you know, when my dad was a child growing up. So, I mean, he learned a lot. And then as he raised us, you know, he taught us how to prepare all this delicious meal. So I just want to say shout out to my dad and thank him so much for this recipe. So basically, this is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook don't overcook it okay and that should be perfect that is it and it is ready all right friends so back to this side i'm going to be adding about two cups of corn meal yes and i have here my nutmeg and i'm going to add salt mm -hmm, to taste remember we did not add any salt in that banku that we just made so i have here some sugar and i'm going to add milk powder yes when you add milk powder it takes absolutely delicious it gives that you know i used to a very nice flavor that you will really really love so try this if you haven't tried that before and i'm just adding in here my raw peanuts this is gonna you know taste absolutely delicious as well the raw peanuts will cook gradually, you know, when you fry this ayusu, that is the secret behind it. But you can easily add, you know, already fried peanuts or roasted peanuts in there. But I'm going to recommend that you use the fresh one because the fresh one absolutely tastes really good. Trust me. And after we added our, you know, cook cornmeal, we're going to just use your hands make sure that your hands is all clean and nice and continuously you know stir this mix them up make sure that everything is well combined and then we're gonna form this lovely beautiful shape so with this recipe you can just form it like whatever shape that you like but you can make it circle if that's what you want you can make it triangle whatever you want to make what feels your needs just go ahead and do it but you have to keep repeating this until everything is well done yes mm, me say and the yeah yeah gana are you are you are you grown up with remember 
school time now now we are who could we be this is the authentic ghana area so i know some of the african countries usually have similar recipe with this one but you know if you know like what kind of name you have for this recipe you know if you are from a different country you can drop it down there and let me know how you call this recipe but in ghana i know they have like different names for that as well but what i grew up and i knew is called ariosu because the meaning of ariosu means that you chew hard and you know you you tear up you tear up that's how it is you know it because it is so crispy you know when you chew you have to chew it hard you have to get that it to chew this recipe yeah are you so oh we now we soon it's an say and so so adding and so why are you so over we now we soon and that's how we call it are you so <laughs> yeah friends so we are done shaping this beautiful are you so and it's about to go so i have here my oil ready and as you know friends i love coconut oil i use coconut oil in all my cooking it's healthy you know if you haven't tried that yet you can use it but if you prefer any other cooking oil you can use it as well so we're just gonna keep adding our ariusu and then we're gonna gradually cook it but make sure that you use a very low medium heat ujano and it's a ASHP. so if you use a high heat yes it's gonna cook fast but the inside is not gonna cook well and of course we want this to be very crispy well done you know that is the secret behind it so make sure that you lower your heat into a low medium also we can notice so cry now so they better yeah we'll be to me actually day that is how we want it so make sure that you pay attention to the heat and then you have to stir you have to flip them around you know just to make sure that every side of this recipe is well cooked that is all that i'm asking from you friends so yeah it is almost done and as you can see it is cooking gradually and that is what we want it is almost done friends just a little patience a little bit okay and just how it is it looks so beautiful i can't believe how well this recipe turned out i am so 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 excited and i can't wait to try so yes friends it is ready and i'm gonna show you how it's looking in the inside of course a little uh, preview to show you how it is on the outside as you can tell it is so crispy they say are you sweet i have come and say i just say me just say what in your dbb yeah what in your drink blp beer you can just easily enjoy it so this is how it looks it is so crispy so 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 crispy and that is how we want it and Thank you so much for watching friends this video is about to come to an end and this is how we prepare authentic Ghanaian area soup if you know any other name let me know and thank you so much for watching i hope you really enjoyed this recipe like i did if you did please go ahead and hit the like and share among your friends so they can watch it as well until i come your way stay safe stay joyful and have a blessed day